All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how to use hex on steroids to do some nice and fun, and easy, quick and easy uh, roster editing for NBA Street Volume 2 for the GameCube. This also works for the PlayStation 2, uh, but, you know, I'm not, we're not doing the mod for PlayStation 2 with the uh, Dolphin emulator or PCSX2. So, first thing you need to do is download and install and run once hex on steroids. The link will be in the description. Um, I'm going to go ahead and boot it up. I have it linked to right in my Dolphin installation. And so I start it up, let it create its profiles and folders and everything, and that's it. And go ahead and minimize this. Go to your My Documents folder. And go to Hex on Steroids. This will be created now. Go to Profiles. And then you want to create a new folder here. So we'll just call this uh, GameCube Street. I have these profiles available for download. You take these profiles, move them right in here. That's it. Go back, open up Hex on Steroids again, go to Profiles, Profile List, GameCube Street, and pick if you want to do the players or the team. So we'll do players. Go to File and Open, and you want to navigate to where your database files are. So Street Volume 2 is where I exported my root folder, which I showed you with the uh, um, GameCube Rebuilder program. Uh, I want to go to database, and since I want to do the players, I want to hit the players file. Open this up, and as you can see, it's all nicely labeled with Chris Bosch and all the other players up here, uh, Josh Smith. And there is a list on the NLSC forums, um, there's a resources uh, thread, that will tell you what each of these rows means. Off the top of my head, 8 and 10 are both heights, 9 and 11 are both weights. Um, these are ratings right here. Uh, these are, we have numbers, um, positions I believe are here, oh no, positions are here, um, we have team IDs all around here. Each of these things controls some aspect for the player um, in the game. And you can just quickly and nicely and easily change the heights of players right here. They can be whatever you want. Um, you can do the weights, Thablo just <laughs> kind of gained a lot of weight and height. Uh, you change the ratings right here, and like I said, each row does a specific rating and everything. You can go ahead and uh, check out the resources thread there to see what that is. You can also load up the teams file. We're going to lose those changes, that's okay. Open up the teams file, and same thing here, Atlanta, Boston, and so on. It's, they're still called New Jersey and Seattle just because that's how it's labeled in the game. Um, I th These three lines right here decipher which name uh, the team uses, which it goes up to the bank of names, which there's a tutorial on that. Um, I'm not sure what these ones do, but I am certain that these bottom five here control what players are on the team. So you can trade players and all that fun stuff using these uh, five uh, slots right here. And these are player IDs that go off of the other file. Um, so as you can see with Miami, Chris Bosch was the first player listed in that um, players um, file. So this is Chris Bosch right here. Uh, that's basically how you do it. Um, it, it it's going to take, it's a little, it's not as easy as Redditor, obviously, but that is a simple, simple, quick and er easy way to use Hexon Steroids to edit the rosters of NBA Street Volume 2. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than willing to try and help you out and check out the resources thread. And I guess that's about it. So I hope this helps. Hope you learned something. And I will see you guys in the next video.